Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another video. I know it's been quite some time and sorry because I'm talking a lot with my hands but I am definitely here to make another tutorial real quick for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you guys this simple quick look. Hopefully it's simple. If not, you know, just time to get right with me and let's see what this takes us into. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and use this P. Louise shadow base. And it's in the Rue Bore or Rue More. Um, in the Rue More. Um, this is in the shade number two. This is by far my favorite of all. I have um, all kinds of shades. I just tend to pick this one more even because it is like suitable for my um, actual skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up. And you guys, if you noticed, I did dye my hair and I want a little bit more blonder. Try to match it with my rest of my hair. And um, that's all I've done. I know I look a little bit more paler, but we'll see how this goes. So let's keep on watching. So, I mean, I know you guys, you know, um, it's been a while since I've posted in here. I'm just going to go ahead and dab a few dots here. And, um, and see what we could do in here. I probably put too much I'm not quite sure so just going along with it I'm gonna grab this BH cosmetics brush it's just like a flat um, brush right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start um, bluffing or blending in the whole entire eyeshadow base um, I haven't done like any dramatic looks at the moment but um, I've been slacking, that's for sure. I mean, I've been working a lot, so that's also a plus. But I'm also like, you know, being a teacher, helping with my daughter and my, my son, so schoolwork. It's not easy, you guys. Props to the teachers who would do this with all their students and especially to my sister. Because it is not easy, you guys. If you have the ability to work with students and they are capable of you know understanding you especially with patience i don't know how people does that but patience is the key to that okay now the reason i like to pat this um all over my lid all the way to the top of my brow is because sometimes you just never know i like to bring my color all the way to the top and sometimes i don't you guys, I know I'm looking like hella rough right now, but it's quarantine. It's quarantine. There's no place to go. There's nowhere to go besides, you know, either picking up something. Either you ordered online or either just tear to your living room, pretty much. Or you you know, or if you're gonna go ahead and go and cook and something that's gonna be your dinner. That's your restaurant. So I'm gonna go in with this Juvia Place palette. And if you know me, I've been using them for quite some time. And this is the Nubian Nubian Julius Place. So that's what the color looks like. They're all brown, so that's what I'm trying to achieve for. Something subtle, something simple, something basic, and see what we come up with, okay? And uh, this ones, I think they don't have names, but I know like the newer versions they have came up with, they do have um, names on it. So if you are able to get your hands on them, I highly, highly recommend you to get the newer versions because they all have great quality of, you know, of the eyeshadow base as well. So I'm just going to dab right here. Ooh, that's a purple. That's really, really nice. Subtle, but a really browning. It's like a brownie kind of color. And this is the Morphe M519. If you guys are interested in knowing what brushes. I think there was one time when I had like a video long, like a while back. And I had someone telling me what kind of brushes. And I don't know if everybody's in, into it of knowing what kind of brushes I'm using as I'm going. But that's what I'm using. So I'm just like dragging the color like up right here where like on the top and that's all I'm doing and then I'm going to pack in more color to it. So I just pack, pack into it 
and then I try to soften the edge right about right there if you're wondering why is my face so shiny it's because I already probably moisturized it and I'm plus like I'm so oily so that makes it even worse just so yeah so that's what it's looking like you see the difference of this eye and this other eye? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to pick up like a, the darker shade, which is like the more chocolatey one. And I'm going to go ahead and go into this right here. Trying to darken it up a little bit. And let's see what this takes us to. Wow, it's really pretty. I really like this. I don't know, do you guys like wear the eyeliner still, the wing eyeliner? I don't know, like I feel like I could want to play around with it, but then I'm like, well, what if it doesn't look like, you know, in my mind, how I think it will look like, really sharp. That's just my mindset, I don't know. I mean, I've seen some girls, they rock it really well, and I'm just like, uh, it's not for me. Or maybe it's just me not knowing how to do it. But. So yeah, that's what's going on with me. I hope you guys are doing well as well. I'm just like over it. I don't even watch news. I don't even watch anything else. Really, because it's just so, you know, traumatic. And you don't want to see or talk about it anymore, you know. That's how I feel. I don't know, maybe it's just me. It's like it's overwhelming and you don't want that anymore. Okay, so I think it's sort of coming out. I'm just going to clean my brush on this towel I have here. And I'm going to go back with that um, lighter orange kind of looking like. And I'm just going to go on the top and bring some of that color in between. Oh, that looks super orangey. I think I want it to be like more fallished, but I don't know what's my brain doing. Back and cleaning again, picking up that dark shade again, and packing that up. Just packing it up. I'm just trying to create this hollow look, you know, kind of like if it's deep in and then it gets lighter. But I want it to be matte, so I'm just like, hopefully it stays matte. Don't know. Kind of like that. I wait until everything is done and clean. So now I'm going to go in with this Morphe M454 right here. This one, I mean, I'm just going to blend the edges. Because they're looking a little rough right there. So I'm just going to blend that. Just blending, basically. That's all I'm doing, just blending away. So now I'm going to go in with this tart shape tape and I'm just going to cut a little bit on the inside just to define it and try to put in some color. I'm probably going to go in with this one or maybe something dark. And the shades that I end up using it right here, it's this one first and then I went to the chocolate one more like brownish and then I went to this one as well. It's just to make it look like that brownish kind of type of thing. But um we'll see how everything is and turns out to be but if i don't like that i'm most likely gonna end up using a more um kind of like a sh like a lighter kind of like a lighter version of it and for this shade i'm gonna go ahead and use the jacqueline hill palette this is the volume two and i'm gonna use the certified shade right here this one and that's what i'm gonna end up using so we'll see how that goes as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut it a little bit. So 
So I'm just going to go ahead and pack that sheet in. And blend that. And then I'll be right back and I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well and show you guys the rest. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. I went and go ahead and put some lashes on and the style I'm actually wearing, it's this one. It's from Vanity, Vanity Fam Sal Salon or Saloon. And this is in the style um, Jasmine right here. And this is what it looks like. They're so pretty. It's like so natural, I guess you can say. And they look like extensions. So that's what's the cool thing about it. Like, they're so cute. You can see that? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move on with the rest of my face and see and show you guys what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. For primer, I'm going to go ahead and use this for Solly. And this is in the Skin, Skin Tune Blur Perfection. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for Solly as my primer. And I'm going to go ahead and put it all over my skin. So have you guys tried this um, for Solly thing? Because this is going to be like my, like, I've tried their products. I have the purple one, and I don't know what other one I have, but I have them almost all. And um, I like it. It's really, really, feels really, really good. And um, I think they came out with a new one, if I'm not mistaken. They came out with a, kind of like for mattifying. And that one, I'm really interested on it. I don't know why, but I'm so interested. And it's gonna help out balance like all the oils, all the all everything on my skin. So that's what I'm doing. And I haven't beaten my face like this like in a while. It's been a really good minute, and. I don't know. I wonder how long has it been that you haven't gone without makeup? Like, how long has it been? Comment down below if you've been longer without makeup for since the, you know, the whole COVID, whatever, since then. Um, but I've been for a while. Like, I don't even wear it for work. It's that bad. It's crazy. So... That's what we're doing. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with a Huda Beauty um, foundation and this is what it looks like. And and this is in the shade Amaragari, Amaragari, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's in the number 310. So hopefully it matches my foundation with this, but we'll see how it goes. So this is what it looks like. It's very thick. As you guys can see that it's very thick it's not runny at all it's just very very thick so let's see how it goes I think it's like the scent that's what got to me and I was like oh it is too It's like super yellowish, I guess you can say, but it's not that bad. So I think this is the shade whenever I'm like more tanner. And since we're in quarantine, I actually am not going nowhere. So I'm not hitting the sun so much. I haven't had this foundation in so long. It's that sad. Like I haven't had this foundation in so long and in I feel like I buy stuff and then I'm like, I forgot I had that, you know? I don't know. I feel like I made a big mistake. I feel like I am so orange right now. But hey, let's try to get my ears too. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to go in with this Born This Way concealer. And this is in the shade Golden Beige. So I'm hoping this is the right shade with my foundation. So hopefully it matches this. So and this is the Born This Way concealer. So I'm hoping it does match you guys. So say a prayer for me. 
So here we go. I'm only going to put a very little bit amount because I don't know how it's going to be. If it's going to look okay or not. But it looks like it might be. I don't know. So here we go. For a powder, I'm going to go in with this Too Faced um, Peach Perfect. And this is the one in the translucent. So it's called Mattifying, Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to try to set the rest of my whole entire face. I'm going to go back and use the Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to do my under eyes. So I'm going to set the rest of my nose with it. And I'm just tapping it all over it. I'm going to use this Studio MAC um, powder. And this is the NC35. And I'm going to go ahead and use this one to set the rest of my face. So that's all I'm going to do. So I won't be so, so, um, you know, kind of like glowy. Even though I'm going to highlight my face and stuff. Um, I don't want it to be to where I cannot use any powder after on the top. I don't know. What do you guys think? How is it turning out to be? I guess like, not like. I think I haven't beaten my face this much before. It's been a while, you guys. It's been a while. For bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and use this Anastasia Powder Bronzer, and this is in the shade Cappuccino. It's right here. It's so pretty. It's so pigmented. It's amazing. It actually bronzes your face, and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite brush. This is the Morphe E48, which is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and dab a little bit. I don't need too much because then I'm going to look like... A whole muddy person right here and we don't want that so i want it to blend you see that and i'm just gonna both in of course i'm gonna have to do my forehead because i have a big ass forehead and i don't want it to look like that so i'm choosing to do like smaller so if you have a small forehead you don't have to worry about that because girl you really have perfect forehead and then if you're like me, you want to make it smaller, then you have to use this. And then whatever I have left over, I'm just going to go ahead and use like as a contour for my nose. Pretty much. And I just squish the brush. That's all I do. I don't do very much. And then you already know, I'm going to use my Illuminati from Artist Couture. This is the best highlight ever. I don't know where you've been. If you don't have this, you need to own it. With this super solid I have Sephora. And I love this one. This is in the shade Illuminati. And of course I'm going to use my favorite brush. This is the Morphe M501. Which is this one right here. And then I'm just going to highlight away. Just going to go right over here. And then the bridge of my nose. The pointy of my nails as well. And then right here. Then right here a little bit. That is it, girl. That is it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and use this Morphe um, setting spray. This is my favorite. If you have any other, like, you know, sprays or setting sprays or setting mist, whatever you want to call them, comment down below. I would like to check that out. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and spray this real quick. And I try not to squinch my face or my eyes, not my face. I try not to squinch my eyes because in the mascara I just put on, it's not going to look cute. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this dose of colors and I'm going to go ahead and use that for my lips. It's so pretty, you guys. Look at this. I'm 
It's so pretty. Just like that. And you can just like let it dry out and it can be like matte or you can add a lip gloss which we'll see how it, it this turns out and if I like it I might leave it as matte or I might just add some lip gloss so it's whatever your preference is but I like both ways so I don't complain or or anything like that I really don't care much but I like both ways so this is what it looks like so what do you guys think I love for it something simple something cute Alrighty, you guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like it. It's something simple, something quick. Something I never thought I was going to go and hit and use this one. It's a little bit dirty because I've been having it for a while. And, um... I don't know I, I don't know why I was thinking of buying it again but in different shades so I ended up purchasing another one of these so let me know what you guys think if you like you don't like I don't know if you like this kind of videos makeup full and detailed or you want a more specific way you like prefer anything just comment down below don't forget to also turn on the post notifications subscribe as well and don't forget to be part of the big team and also follow me on social media so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys next time bye